What's up guys, I'm Eric, and yes, I have eyebrows. So this is hopefully going to be a short update video of things that's been happening lately with my phone and my setup and whatever, and then also what's been happening behind the camera. So I've just uh, came back from a camp. I go to it every year, uh, three years ago and then to ten years ago. It was two sessions every summer, but lately it's just been one session every summer. Um, and they had it really early this year, so I had camp in the meantime between this video and my last video. It probably didn't seem like anything really happened to me, but if you follow me on my other social networks, you would see that I was completely just not liking anything or anything, because this camp, you don't have any of your gadgets or whatever you call it. Um, so yeah, I was there, that was pretty fun and stuff. There's some videos and stuff all over the internet, so I'll have a link to all of my social networks in the description, so you can go ahead and check them out. It's a really fun place, and I, yeah, so that's in the description. Also, I got a haircut, if you couldn't tell, by the introduction where you can now see my eyebrows. I don't quite know how to use it, my hair, so it's gonna take me a while to actually be able to, like, style it. I don't know, my old hair, I kind of just, like, flipped it and it was good, or at least I, would, I didn't care, but now I can like actually do stuff with it. So I'm not sure what I should do, so this is just like a kind of normal look. I don't know, I'm done talking with my hair. All right, so now with the stuff that I can actually talk about easy, easily, obviously I can't speak, I haven't done this in a long time. But anyways, my phone, a few updates with the case and the screen protector. You already hear about the screen protector and the D-brand and everything. So, um, so you already know that my screen protector is trash, so the case. When I first got the case, I thought that it would be strong enough to where like even like the small little limmy parts, which aren't very too many places on it, but there are two places on the phone and on the case that are sort of fragile and you should probably take a little bit more care than I did. Um, and it's where the volume rockers meet like the edge of the display. On the case though, there's like a thin piece of that plastic or whatever TPU, I don't know. Um, but it's a little weak and mine bent, so it's a bit annoying to have it because you can like click it if you can hear this. It like ticks whenever you move it left and right of the display. But yeah, it pretty much just bent a little bit. But other than that, this case has been like amazing. And if I knew about that before I bought, bought this thing, I would have still bought it, it's not a big deal. And I'm pretty sure that you would have been able to avoid bending that. So just a quick update and a warning if you guys want to get this case, which I still recommend more than anything because of, I haven't owned any other cases. But this one's pretty minimal and awesome and there's not really anything wrong with it except for that thing, but I'm pretty sure you can avoid it by taking like precautionary actions or whatever. So yeah, good with the case. So now with the D brand, it's sexy. Look at this. Look at this. And the red Motorola logo, it's like, mmm, fire. I. It looks so great and it like really stands out in outside lighting um, the red and the black kind of disappears with the carbon fiber but then the red is just like oomph so it's awesome so if you have a Nexus 6 or anything for that matter one plus one Motorola X maybe a Nokia I don't know what D brand supports and when they can afford when they can offer like a little stitching of something but get black carbon fiber with the main, and then for like little details, get red carbon fiber because it is amazing. I love it, everyone loves it. People are like, oh my God. And I'm like, oh my God, it's awesome. And then with the software, it's been pretty much the same, but something that a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys have been asking about is the burn-in display thingamajiggy. And I spoke about in my unboxing video after like a vlog style that you might be able to prevent burn-in prior to anything like so my theory on it was that like when you first use your panel you can improperly unevenly wear in pixels burn in pixels so the, the little navigation bar at the bottom where it's all black and those navig navigation keys are all white if you first get your phone and as soon as you get it before they get to be like used in normally not burned in but used as, if, as soon as you get it, if it starts getting used like that, that leads to burn-in. But if you were to warm up the screen properly and never have it burn, never have the black and the white contrast until later, then the pixels will already be used to like being used and whatnot, and they won't... Uh, okay, it's like saying this. Whenever you're... Mm, 
learning something. You might start with a bad habit, and then after that, you gotta like fix that habit or whatever. So like if you're doing volleyball, I don't know, and you're spiking it incorrectly, um, and you learn like that, and then you have to change, it's difficult to change to like the proper place. But if you were to start off learning how to do it properly, and then you switched it up, it would be easy to go back to how you properly learned it because that's how it was first used and that's just how it, um, it's memory, I guess. And the, the panels have memory. So if you warm it all up properly at first, then you can avoid it and it's living proof right here on my phone. I have zero burn-in and it's been twice as long as when I had it before. Like I had it burn-in half the length back on my last display. So if you get a Nexus 7 or, any, or a Nexus 6, or anything with an AMOLED or Super AMOLED display that has like something that'll constantly be on the screen with the contrast, I recommend that as soon as you get the device, you watch a whole bunch of YouTube videos, you watch a whole bunch of Netflix, whatever, um, but make sure the entire display is being used before you start do You know, I, I rambled way too long. Hopefully you get the point. So yeah, that was about it, surprisingly. Just that case, the display, my hair, um, and that it's summer, so I'm gonna have hopefully a lot more videos. I have a bunch of videos, the Nexus 6 review, a Pebble review like six months later, or however long it's been. I have a bunch of videos in store, so please leave a subscribe, please leave a subscribe, please subscribe and leave a like for more videos like this. Um, I haven't been doing YouTube lately, so I'm like mumbling on words and trying to look at my face, but I'm supposed to be looking at the camera because I've been gone for a while. Um, but yeah, sorry about that, but I should be back on my feet, hitting the floor, running, or whatever you want to say. So I'll see you in the next video. Mm, mm, I don't know how to end a video anymore. So thank you for watching. Hopefully this video wasn't too long, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. Did I cover everything? Social networks. Uh, hair, eyebrows, yeah, phone. Alright, that was it. Bye.